after having the best time in the capital of Albania, Tirana, exploring bars, restaurants and the fascinating history, we were off to the west coast of Sarande, which is on the border of Greece. It's 5.30am and we're on our way to the bus that leaves at 6.30am to Sarande. Yay! Just follow every move Touch me Let me know you want it to Don't tell what you need Our bus broke down about 10 minutes before our destination. Got into a new bus for the last 10 minutes. <laughs> we love moving bags. Probably should have just gotten a taxi from here, but there's no taxis right here. This is a nice bus. just waiting for airbnb to get ready so we're just chilling next door and this is basically the same view as from our airbnb and literally right there is greece uh corfu island we can't go because we don't have visas for greece but it's insane there that island right there that's corfu that is insane I wish and it's so funny because literally two months ago we were looking for places in Greece to get and um, buy something and get a Schengen or European visa and I was looking at this island for houses I didn't know exactly where it was and now we're right there but we can't go look it sucks <laughs> just a quick disclaimer this video might seem a bit more boring than the usual ones but every day does not look like skiing down mountains, scuba diving, seeing amazing new places. Some days are just normal life. We work full time, so most of our time goes into working and just doing normal daily admin tasks. And I think we can get so wrapped up on Instagram and social media and people's highlight reels of their lives and the exciting things that they do, when that only really makes out like 20-30% of their daily lives. Um, and we think, oh, wow, look at this amazing life. But, you know, that's only 20%. That's only the parts they show you. So I think it's important to document these more exciting times. The reality of it. The behind the scenes. Um, so, yeah, if you're looking for an adventure video, this is not it. Skip it. But if you want to see just, you know, real normal life some days, this is for you. So this is home for the next 20 days. Minus the laundry that I just had. That is Corfu, the Greek island. But this balcony even has a couch. Living for this. What I'm, that I've been doing is whenever we stay at a place for like more than three days or a week or whatever we usually do, I usually pack out my bag. Except for things that I might not wear. Like if there's no ocean, not gonna swim, or if there's 
it's cold, hot and you're not gonna wear jerseys and I don't pack that out but I always pack out my bag when we get there the same day because it just next morning when you wake up just feel like you're home I look like a tomato in this pinkness first impressions of this place it is amazing <laughs> That is pretty cool. It is so nice. It's like, the view is pretty insane. That we get to see Albania and Greece at the same time. Yeah, the view is like unobstructed from where we say it's amazing. It is like the a beach looks amazing. It's like a hundred, hundred and fifty meter drop to the beach, though. So it's, it's like pretty much forty-five degrees down. For some reason, we just always choose to stay on top of the hill and have to walk, climb a mountain back home. But um, you get a nice view and. I guess the place is like really affordable for 20 days. Yeah. So, and that balcony is massive and it has a couch on the balcony. Oh, that is actually pretty I'm cool. I'm so excited for that couch on the balcony. Greek salad. I think it's a real Greek salad because we're so close to Greek. <laughs> View. I don't think you get better than this. Carbonara. We're also very close to Italy, so I think the pasta and pizza will be delicious. Pizza. I mean, what more do you want than sitting working with this view? It's amazing. One thing that really sucks about Europe that you gotta buy water all damn time because no way the water is drinkable in the taps. Or it's very funny and that's very frustrating also another thing it is very hard in Airbnbs and wherever in general say even hotels to get it all especially in your price bracket or in your budget so the place we're staying in now is really good it's kind of a little bit under our budget it has that amazing view it is very close to the sea on a hill but still very close to the sea and it's generally quite nice there's just a few issues like I actually can't find plates there's there's two plates in this whole place I need two mugs in the place there's no like sponges to wash so we have to go buy that stuff when you shower the entire bathroom like the entire bathroom is wet you have to kind of turn the toilet knob thingy to get water in and out, otherwise Either it's not in your budget and it's really nice or it's in your budget and it's there's like one or two things that's like not great but there's always a compromise so we compromise for this amazing view and balcony and being close to the beach relatively, like 1k and not having the most modern new place so ability of always booking places on top of the hill. We're staying somewhere up there. It's quite a walk. There's Chateaubriand which came with fruit. Interesting. And this place really comes alive at night. Sunday morning, ready to go to Castle Beach for the day, but it is raining. I don't know when else we're gonna go there because next weekend we're going to the other Friday beach thing. So now we're going to get breakfast and then maybe go to the beach. If the rain clears up, otherwise, next Friday. It's raining so we can't go to the beach. So the whole day has been moved around. Still got crepes and coffee, so it's a sign of the It's such a good place. This is the life of you coming from the beach. We already like done a whole set. Goes up around the corner. And then there's more, and we already did a part now. Yay! There you go. This is another set. So this is the friendliest doggy. I've been giving him food for the lot, him for the last three days, and he's just so happy. But his foot, so so he can't stand on it. 
but he's got anus all over him. And I don't know what to do but to feed him, but... What's nothing, Papa? So cute! She's like, he is like the cutest dog and he just wants rubs. For every new subscriber, we feed a stray animal. You can also donate a meal for only the price of a takeaway coffee by visiting www.buymeacoffee.com forward slash kinfolk travels. So subscribe to help one less animal go hungry tonight. So a lady everywhere we've been staying is on heels. So when you run, you have like a hit to heel to run back after you ran. And you rested after yesterday, so okay, I had like the craziest heel because we sat up here. There's the beach. Doesn't look that far, but it's quite a hill coming up. So today, instead of running down and up, I'm gonna run down to that road, which is a bit of a hill coming up. I don't know. I just don't feel like doing that big hill today. My arm is even sore, just holding my phone. Falls to good problems. This is our last Friday night in Saranda, and Jared's going for his first haircut in six months. I was forced. I thought when we're back in South Africa, we won't really have time because we have so much to do, so. And I thought it would be cool to get like an Albanian haircut. Mm, are you also getting haircuts? No. At the bar. I need a cut, but I'm not getting a haircut. Um, so Jared is very excited for his Albanian haircut. Very excited. <laughs> Got an Albanian boyfriend now. Oh, yeah. Basically, I look like the, the barber's hairstyle. This yeah, was, this was you look like the barber now. <laughs> Be cool with your clean glasses. It's only taken six months to clean them. <laughs> I know. Making improvements, cutting hair, and cleaning jock glasses. And drinking an upper spritz. I haven't had one upper spritz since I've been in Europe. Did you summer. order upper spritz? I don't like it that much, but I, I haven't had one for I think you remember. Europe, which is a crime, I think. I think I, think I had it once that. and I didn't like it, and I thought I'd try it again, and I thought I didn't like it. Then I'm gonna have it for a third time and not like it, but I'm gonna feel like one of the cool kids drinking upper spritz in Europe. Everyone summer. drinks upper spritz everywhere. I understand it. It's not I that. Know. It's not that <laughs> it's amazing. Not that nice. I don't like yeah. it. Still don't like it. No, you're not a focus. Don't like it. I like my kid. My kidney. <laughs> I, like I like my, my cocktail. I like my, I like my cocktail and a pina colada. Just we are bar hopping in Albania because it's affordable and really well priced so you can like just drink and drink and drink Basically, which we don't ever do And really, really awesome cocktails And we get to see this Like those. really nice And we get to see this And we get to see this <laughs> <laughs> And that's Greece The, the Greek island part of Greece And those are the boats we're going on tomorrow for Bunch of different lime. Mule. Gin mule. Ooh, that looks nice. Uh, gin, mint, lime, sugar, cucumber, ginger beer. Found this and it looks so good. And we haven't had fast food in forever, so we ended up getting burgers and fries and chicken at this place. Coca pool. If you want an amazing night out, you have to come to Albania. The cocktails are delicious and super well priced. Next week's video is a little less boring and our plans actually work out. We spend the day on a boat to the islands and visit the famous and beautiful Kasamul beach on a jet ski. Thank you for watching and remember to subscribe.